I am Omega Pax. This is the history of the Headmaster's Transformers. Cybertron is in grave danger, part two. Cybertron is in great danger, part two is the 10th episode of Transformers the Headmasters. It first aired in Japan on September 11th, 1987 on Nippon TV. The end looms for Cybertron as Scorponok's plan to secure the power nears flourishing. As Weird Wolf and Skullcruncher outfit Mindwipe with the bomb Scorponox has specifically prepared, the Autobot Headmasters wonder why the villain has broken off his fight so suddenly, and begin investigating. Eventually, as the battle continues to rage around them, with the Predacons, Trainbots, Protectobots, and Combaticons clashing, Chrome Dome discovers the villains heading for an entrance to the planet's sub-levels and summons the other headmasters with his telepathic powers. Weird Wolf and Skull Cruncher block their way as Mindwipe races through the tunnels, but Chrome Dome makes it through and pursues him through Cybertron's depths. The other headmasters soon follow, but Mindwipe makes it to Vector Sigma's chamber and activates the bombs. The Autobot Headmasters are unable to remove the explosives and are forced to flee the surface to sound the alarm. On the surface, Scorpinox informs Galvatron that he has arranged for the planting of the bombs and the destruction of Cybertron, ostensibly to prevent the newly created Cybertronium from falling into the Autobot's hands. As Galvatron departs for Vector Sigma's chamber to stop Scorpinox's plan, the Autobot Headmasters inform Rodimus of the situation and he quickly and regretfully arranges for the evacuation of the planet. As the Autobots and Decepticons escape to safety, Galvatron enters Vector Sigma's chamber just as the bombs go off and he is consumed in the fireball. The explosion devastates Cybertron utterly, reducing it to a charred, broken hunk floating in space. Touching down on the ruined, uninhabitable surface of Cybertron, Rodimus Prime realizes that the age of his generation of Transformers has come to an end. Vowing to find a new planet for the Transformers to live on, he appoints Fortress as the new Supreme Commander of the Autobots and accepts Blur and Cup's offer to accompany him. When RC moves to join them, he refuses, telling her to stay and take care of Wheelie and Daniel. Promising to return, Rodimus and his companions depart for space.